with actor Jonathan Dubsky. It's nice to see you again. Nice to see you, Kate. He's in Pawn Sacrifice with Toby McGuire. Mm -hmm. You're developing your own series called Cubed. Yep. And you star in Sweet As, Danny Malin's most recent film that we just finished shooting. Mm -hmm. So... Tell me a little bit about the character of Jared in Sweet Eyes and the crazy prosthetics. I wish you had them on right now. Well, you can kind of see it if I like. Yeah. Maybe in, I don't know if the light's good, but if I still. Yeah. No, the camera person saying no. So, so being huh. aged to 100, yeah. I don't know, I, 100. Yeah. So, okay, tell me a little bit about the makeup process. I had to do it too, but you probably are more eloquent than me. So how, how long did it take to get on and what did it feel like? I think it was probably about a two-hour process mm -hmm. each morning. Mm -hmm. um, started off with uh, applying moisturizer. <laughs> like every good skincare regime. <laughs> yeah, and then they, they popped on some, basically like it's like a liquid latex. Yeah. So, and when they apply that, it, it, it dries in a certain way that it takes your skin and it compresses it. So they, they put the latex on, they stretch your skin, they'll put a hair dryer on there to dry it, and then when you let go, it takes the skin and it just... <laughs> Like like a pickle, like pickled skin. Your skin looks great though. Mine, I'm wearing a lot of makeup right now, but mine broke out everywhere. My face is on fire. Okay. Right now. <laughs> it's, yeah. it's like we just took it off. But it looks awesome in the film. Yeah. Right. Yeah, yeah it's really cool. So, how did you meet Danny Malin, the director, and what's it like working with him? I, uh, Danny and I go back. I don't remember exactly where we met, uh, mm. but it was maybe at a bar. No, it was it was during. <laughs> No, it's wrong. <laughs> it was it was during a uh, theater school, so like probably around two thousand and four, okay. and um, that's a while ago. Yeah, yeah, and, and we just kind of kept in touch over the years. I started becoming a filmmaker, and then he was interested in becoming a filmmaker, and we just kind of bounced ideas back and forth. And, and mm -hmm. he worked on a couple of my shorts, and mm -hmm. and then he started doing his own thing, and he invited me to this, and I was like, absolutely. Cool. So, oh, that's yeah. so nice. Yeah. And you do, you're a jack of all trades. You write, you direct, you act. So how do you balance all these different things that you do? I don't know if I figured that out yet. <laughs> but, but I mean, like you're an actress. Yes. You're a personality. You're, yes. You're also, you know, a creator. So. I know, but I feel like people don't like that. They're like, what do you do? Choose one thing. <sighs> you know, right? I think, I think. <laughs> You know, you're right. You're right. It's like people ask you the question, you're like, I don't know how to introduce myself because I'm all these things. So either I'm a huge egoist or yeah. I just intro. No, but honestly, I think now, especially nowadays with the accessibility of, you know, what we're using right now, mm -hmm. filmmaking is a lot more accessible to everyone who has a story to tell. Totally. And, and as actors, you know, we, we kind of empower ourselves to, mm -hmm. to tell the stories that we don't always get the opportunity to do because of totally. the industry. Yeah. I mean, as an actor, we can wait forever and let's be honest or, we're pretty damn good at that <laughs> or we can make something or we can make something so, and you get you get experience you get practice it motivates you for more and you're always in something i feel like i've interviewed you before you always have a project on the go so it's clearly working yeah yeah i hope so it is it's hard work but it's it's for something totally so and where is the best place for us to follow you and your career online um i i I'm trying very hard to 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 get into Twitter. Okay. So it's can, hard to get in. It's like a private club. I know, but now not I, just anyone. Can. My girl, my girlfriend told me you you can you can set it up in Twitter so that whatever you post to Twitter automatically goes to Facebook. Yeah. And you can do so if I Instagram, it automatically goes to Twitter. I do automatically that. Automatically goes to Facebook. Yeah. So I only have to do one job. Yeah. There's this app called If This Then That. They're not paying me. I'm just telling you. If this, then that? Yeah. If this, then that sounds like a great app, Katie. Yeah. <laughs> great. Well, it's so nice. Is this the app right here? <laughs> yeah. It's so nice to see you again. You and too. congratulations on everything. Thank you so much. I'm Katie Ullman reporting for Katie Chats in Montreal. Thank you so much for watching Katie Chats. If you like the show, please subscribe. And if you're curious to know what I'm doing when I'm not interviewing, please click here. I'm also an actress and recently produced my first short film and would love for you to check out the trailer. Thank you.